Okay, balancing your shotgun. Uh, first things first, a couple of uh, little advisory things. Uh, if you really want to fine tune it, then you can alter the balance. You might want it, as most people do, just to balance on the pin. But if you hold the gun further up on the fore end, you might want to balance it just slightly forward. And obviously, if you hold it slightly further back, you might want to balance it just a little bit further back. Entirely up to you, but that's what a lot of people recommend. Uh, secondly, whatever you do, only make it a semi-permanent fix. There will be times when you need to access the stock bolt. So you'll need a tool like this, or some guns use a screwdriver. Uh, but you will need to poke it down the stock bolt hole to maybe tighten up the stock to the action or even to remove it if uh, the gun needs any repairs etc. And thirdly, always put the weights as far back as you can towards the butt pad. There's no point putting a load of weight down this end because you'll get the same effect putting less weight further up here. And then the final little advice before we go any further is I recommend just putting a blob of grease or oil just into the screw holes before you start. It just helps protect the butt pad itself as you take the screws out. They can cause a little bit of damage to the butt pad and make it looking unsightly. Okay, I'll just remove the butt pad. Right, just one more further bit of advice before you start. Uh, I recommend taking the butt pad off first and measuring the stock bolt hole. Uh, this is a grade 3 MK38 which I've recently bought and this is the weight that I used in my previous gun which was a grade 1. Um, it is literally just one of those bolts with a washer and a nut. And then fortunately I've got a couple of friends who are in the building trade and they supplied me with just a piece of lead pipe. And then I just put those two little screws in just to stop it falling down into the stock hole as that was a, just about the perfect size and those two little screws just withheld it from falling in. That really worked a treat on my previous grade one. But as you will see, there's no way of getting that into the grade three. So, might be an idea, if you're next at the shooting ground before you take this out. If you haven't got a 20 bore, you might find just an empty used cartridge in one of the bins like I did. Unfortunately, that is just about the right size to go in. So you can take that to the fishing shop. Double check the diameter of the weights to make sure that they fit in your stock bolt hole. Alternatively, a 12 bore is pretty similar to what I found in my grade 1 and also in my Caesar Guarini, so I presume that's a pretty standard size. So same again, take an empty cartridge, double check it fits your stock bolt hole and then take that to the fishing shop to get the weights. Right, now I'm just going to show you the cheapest and, well, one of the cheapest ways and definitely the quickest way to achieve a decent balancing gun. Uh, it is literally to stuff tissue paper, kitchen roll, you can use tin foil I've heard people recommend but I think kitchen roll is probably the best. Literally just stuff this all the way in as far as it can go and you really need to compress it honestly as tight as possible because if you don't from experience it can work slightly loose with recoil and then you will feel the weights wobbling about inside just a little bit. Okay what I've used is like I say you stuff the kitchen roll as far as you can in and then literally just two fishing weights so a total cost of it's around about four pounds I think they were. You just pop those in That one's nice and flush at the end, which is great, because obviously you want as much weight as possible towards the end. And then put the butt pad back on. 
and that would be done. Uh, alternatively, what I've used in the past, but you will see, other things that I've used have been that one, a larger fishing weight could be an option, however this isn't ideal because this one isn't actually lead, whereas these are, and obviously lead is reasonably soft for a metal, so you can file it, cut it, even drill it. Another option that I've thought about was, this doesn't quite fit through so I can't show you, but if you imagine this bolt fitted through that hole, you could just leave that bracket there with the bolt through and drill into the fishing weight and have that going through there and that would be another decent option if you really wanted to. Uh, sometimes you'll see online people recommending using shotgun weights. Obviously you have got a 1 ounce or 28 gram weight of lead shot in there. If you are going to cut open a cartridge please make sure you do it sensibly, make sure you know what you're doing. If you're not sure then these are a few that do have sort of see-through shells so you can see where the shot is to cut. This is a whole Sporting 100, that's a Fiocchi light speed and that's a Game Boy Evo shell. Now once again if you are going to do that please make sure that you dispose of what's left in a safe and environmentally friendly way. Obviously to a certain extent that is still explosive and dangerous. Perhaps check with your local gun club what they do with misfired cartridges and they might be able to help you dispose of that. Now for the more expensive items that are available, a lot of the big brands, Beretta, uh, Browning and Caesar Guarini do special uh, balancing systems and stock weights. Now in my experience they are a little bit too long so they don't have the weights in, it, in the ideal position like I've stated before you really want the weights as far back as you can. Now the Caesar Greeny one was really good in my experience for one reason it acted almost like a shock absorber there were springs and so with the recoil it compressed it and you could at first bit whilst it's settling in you can actually feel and hear the spring working for a few shots but then it does bed in uh, but it does work really well but uh, the extra weight was a little bit uncomfortable to be honest I think in the total it added about half a pound to the weight of the gun so if you've already got a heavy gun it will make a big difference another option that I've seen online is similar to what I said about putting the bolt through it has a similar thing to this but it does add a little bit of length to the, the uh, length of pull because there's another plate that fits around the end of your gun. Uh, similar to principles of this, it's got a bolt through and then there's sort of like a counterbalance weight so you'd adjust the weight of the gun simply by moving the weight further down the hole but once again chances are the weight won't be in the pr correct place where you'd really want it. So if I put this back together I'll show you exactly where we are with it. Right, that's the butt pad screwed back on. And then just to show you, I hold mine in the middle. And it goes just slightly back, which is exactly how I like it. Gives you far more control over the gun when you're swinging either sideways or vertically for like your crossing targets or teals, etc. Just makes the uh, whole shooting experience far nicer. Thanks for watching, hope it helps.